Welcome to a Devisoft demo video. This video shows how to do model analysis using the model hammer on a basic structure. Let's assume we have an aluminium plate with rectangular geometry. We put it on a rubber foam that it can vibrate freely. You can also hang it on rubber bands. Then we split it up into segments by marking equidistant points. It's also helpful to define the point numbers used later in software. Mount the response accelerometer in one of the points. In Devisoft we define hammer and accelerometer, which measure force and acceleration. Let's enter the hammer setup and check the level by doing some test hits. Memorize the maximum level we need it for specifying the trigger level. Then add a FRF module Set it to triggered mode with roving hammer. The pre-measurement showed that the trigger level of 1 newton is fine. The FFT resolution is related to the sampling rate. We change it to 5 kHz and 2000 lines, which gives roughly 1 Hz resolution. The response channel is our accelerometer mounted in point number 12. As the hammer is moving through the points, we have to define all excitation points. After we have done that, note that the point number 12 is not present on the left side. It doesn't make sense to knock directly on the accelerometer. In measure mode, go to the auto-generated model test screen. Select the geometry and open the editor. Now add all the 24 points and align them in rows of 8, just like marked before. The points are done. Let's draw lines between them. If you like, you can finalize the structure with filled shapes. Afterwards in the animation you will be able to see more details of the movement of the structure. Don't forget to save the geometry. The measure screen is arranged with the hammer signal on the left and accelerometer signal on the right. Below you see the current transfer function and its coherence. It makes sense to scale the y-axis linear up to maximum level of 1. Let's do some other small changes. We arrange the control buttons differently. After finishing the setup screen, we start the measurement. We start at point number 1 and do 3 hits. The 3 hits are averaged. Click next point to proceed at point number 2. Now move through all the points. If you have specified a double hit level, a warning message will be displayed when doing a bad hit. Click reject last and repeat the hit. When the measurement is done, it makes sense to change the display arrangement for the analyze mode. Most of the instruments are not needed here. We added here 2D graphs below each other, showing the first four transfer functions, with amplitude and phase. Insert the mode indicator function to see all the possible mode shapes. 
You can also add the model circle instrument from the toolbar. Then set all the instruments to channel cursor mode. When you now click on a peak, all instruments follow the cursor, also the animation. Let's look at some different mode shapes. Let's explain in short what the modal circle does. Therefore we zoom into one of the peaks, let's say from 800 to 825 Hz, switch the view to histogram to see the line resolution. If you want a more precise result, it's not possible to endlessly increase the number of FFT lines since the hammer impact is quite short. Therefore the iterative circle fit method is used. It plots real and imaginary part of the FFT lines around the center peak in the complex coordinate system to determine exact frequency and damping factor. If you want to export your acquired data, Devisoft supports a lot of formats, also of course the widely used universal file format. Use the filter for example and select the transfer functions and export real and imaginary part or amplitude and phase, whatever you prefer. For further details and different operation modes, Please go to the webpage and look for the FRF Model Analysis Manual in the download section. Thank you very much.